our ABC 7 News reporter, Zach Fuentes. He is out there along the parade route. He's going to be talking with people who are walking by, people in the crowd. So we're going to get a good taste of what's going on today. We are. We are going to have about 100 in 1,520 contingent uh, coming to you live here from Oakland over the course of the next hour and a half. We want to give you an idea of the parade route. Uh, it is going along 14th Street here in downtown Oakland. Along Franklin is where the folks will be marching, and it'll end at 19th Street, and that's where things really open up at the celebration site, uh, which we know is the annual festival that is a part of the Black Joy Parade, where people are selling all types of goods. You're going to see all types of musical acts, and we'll talk about that more throughout the next hour and a half here on the ABC 7 News live stream. But uh, we want to hear a little bit more about what Taylor does. I know, Taylor, oh gold beams. Yes, oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> So Gold Beams is a production company. We produce fun, creative events made for black creatives, made for black people that feel like a family reunion. Um, they're places for you to dance, to celebrate, and to have a great time. And we've been partnering with the Black Joy Parade for now five years wow. to produce our signature open mic second Mondays. That's awesome. And you've been hosting for this is your third year? This is my third year on camera. Thank you, Alicia, for putting me up here. <laughs> you look good, girl. Good one. I showered. I did all the things today. I love it. Yeah, so Taylor is a veteran uh, in hosting the uh, Black Joy Parade coverage. This is our second second year yep. here at ABC 7 News, so we're so excited to be able to bring you all the sights, the sound, uh, the excitement, the fun of yes. the fun. Black Joy Parade. Yeah, and we have the MC, the Grand Marshal, Mr. Fab. Yes. He's yes. exciting. And if you know, if you don't know Mr. Fab, you definitely heard him from that T-Pain song, I Can't Believe It. I could take you to the bay. Hey. Hey. Ow, hey. Where's my Mr. Fab at? <laughs> he is right here starting off the parade. He is yes. an Oakland legend uh, in the flesh. There is a Mr. Fab day, I believe, that uh, was started back in 2014. He has the annual Mr. Fab week, yep. which is yes. really all about giving back to the community. Yeah, there's freestyle ciphers, there's rap battles, there's skating. There's black culture that just pours out way more than just today. He is the heartbeat of Oakland, and I dare say he is a representative of Oakland. He has the right fit for the Grand Marshal today. Yeah, I mean, charity events, he does it all. He does, and uh, we want to talk about the theme of this year's Black Joy Parade. It is all about the redefinition of a yep. hustler, yes. Yes. and I can't think of anyone who uh, fits that mold better than Mr. Fab himself. You want to talk about a guy that knows how to hustle. He was doing verses, because as you know, he's a rapper, he's a hip-hop artist, yes. for $500. So oh he was, my gosh. Yeah, he was uh, telling folks, hit me up on Instagram. If you want me to do a verse on your next single, I will do it for $500. Mm -hmm. That is someone who doesn't have to do anything like that, <laughs> you know, given all of his success and acclaim, but he was yeah. doing it to put on the younger generation of artists. So he is Back. the definition of someone who is changing the definition of a hustler for sure. Yeah, and you see yes. that sign, Grand Marshal. You see all the people on the sidelines being happy, waving those flags. It is going to be a great day, and the weather couldn't have been better. Let's talk about right. the weather. There is not a cloud <laughs> in the sky. The sun is shining down on all of us today. Joyous. It's like 62, Joyous. perfectly sunny. If you were with us live last year, you remember Woo! it was cold, it was rainy, but it did not stop our black joy. Nope. This year we can't contain our excitement because the weather is cooperating, and so many folks are already lining Franklin Street ready to have a good time this afternoon. I know. I keep peeking out the side. There we see him. It's the fab. In that classic car, you will see that car parked in front of his store on Broadway, I believe. Exactly. It's right off of, uh, I believe, 19th and Broadway is where his shop is located. And let's check in with uh, ABC 7 oh, News reporter Zach right. Quintes, who's Turn talking to Mr. Fab right now. beautiful, and I want people to understand that. This is what's the most important about us, representing the beautiful side of our city. What's it feel for this culture, for this community to come together in a time of joy? A beautiful time, because most of the times when we come together, it's only for negative innuendos. But for us to be able to go out there and say we're coming together for the soul, for the sole purpose of joy and love, it's no better feeling than that. We love it. Seventh year, Mr. Fab, our Grand Marshal. Thank you, man. Thank Take you. care. Let's send it back to you guys. All right, thank you, Zach. And look, this is who right. you're hearing. Yes, this is the Grant drum line led by Mr. B. I mean, they have played for President Obama. They've been on Jimmy Kimmel, Tour Japan, South Africa, Europe. I mean, they have been everywhere, and you can hear why. We are getting these kids ready for HBCU. Yeah. <laughs> They're be ready for the drum line for sure. Uh, it's always so exciting to be able to hear the drums because that is how you know that the Black Joy Parade is underway here in Oakland for sure. Oh, it is a good time. The kids are smiling. Mr. Fab looking good. 
Mr. Fab, uh, one of Oakland's native sons for sure, and we are so excited to have him hey. as the Grand Marshal for the parade this year. Thanks for being here. We love you. What's going on, Mr. Yeah. Fab? It couldn't be a parade in Oakland without a candy painted low rider. Okay? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right, and right behind him, we have the Roberts Family Development Center. They're providing services to the greater Sacramento area. They are there for every member of your family. Hi, everyone. And that's what's so exciting about the Black Joy Parade. It's not just people here in Oakland. It's from people all over the Bay Area and beyond. This group that you're looking at right here from Sacramento. Okay, don't get me started on the cars. I hear the cars. I'm like, hey, we got crazy. <laughs> it wouldn't be the Bay Area oh, without the incredible whip. Oh, you feel driving the bass down Franklin. Right in your heart. I'm going to start hopping. Oh, man. Look Classic at these impeccable paint jobs right here. Oh, my goodness. And this is the Eccentric Car Club Foundation. They are a nonprofit, and they unite with the common goal of enjoying their class of cars and spreading oh, yeah. that enjoyment throughout the community. Yeah, there's a little man riding shotgun in that one car. <laughs> they're, they are about bringing kids together through car culture, and we are so glad to have them. I gotta figure out who is detailing their cars. I know. Because there is not a speck of lint uh, on <laughs> any of these whips right here. They are gorgeous Julie, plastic cars. You're thinking about pimping your ride. I'm just proud to say, I was like, can I get some of those? I'll Try take and pimp that my and that. Out. <laughs> is that a skin on the roof? Oh my, I think you're it right. Is. They know how to do it up. Oh my goodness, this is a good time. Classic muscle car in the house. The energy Beautiful is high day. for the start of this parade, for yes. sure. Yes. Tops are down on those rides because it is gorgeous out here as we're sharing joy. And the sun is out too. People are lining the side of the parade route here on Franklin, just really just soaking up the energy, soaking up the sun, and soaking up all things Black Joy for the seventh annual Black Joy Parade. That is right. It is a gorgeous day. You know, it's all about, you said, reinventing the hustle. And also, we are partnering with Black Infant Health as well. Zach's going to talk to them later because nobody hustles like mama. Okay? <laughs> Good boy. Right. We so we'll be talking to them a little later. Six. But right now, we're going to be talking with Oakland Recycles. Taj Reed is here with us. Hey, Taj, how you doing? I'm wonderful. And yourself? Good. Enjoying the festivities so far? I am thus far. Thank you. All right. So you're one of our sponsors. What do you want people out here to know with this Black Joy Parade? Uh, I just want them to keep in mind uh, to continue to use best practices in recycling, making sure that we are using all three streams of waste management. That's uh, waste, compost, and recycling. We're keeping our streets clean, right? Yes. We have to do that because so many people are going to be lining the parade route, going to the festival afterwards. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of trash that's yeah. being produced, and we want to make sure people are putting their trash in a trash bin, recycling properly, uh, so we can keep the streets of Oakland clean. Uh, what tips do you have for people watching at home when it comes to recycling? Sometimes I get confused. I'm like, can I recycle oh, this? Yeah. Is this supposed to be in the trash? I don't want to make someone else's job more difficult. Well, you can just always keep in mind uh, that plastic bags are not recyclable, which is one of our biggest concerns nowadays. And plastic bags should be thrown away in the trash. But just mainly just um, just, just focusing on the separation piece. Uh, just separating. If you have any questions, just um, ask. Feel free um, to um, contact us. You can reach us at OaklandRecycles.com or you can call uh, Waste Management or uh, my organization, California Waste Solutions, uh, because you know we're the we're supposed to be the experts. <laughs> so we're on top of everything. We're more than happy to help you. All right, and you loving it here? You like seeing the community together? I am loving okay. this. I am loving this Black Joy Parade. This is amazing. It's my first one, but it's everything I expected and more. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you for being here. You're watching the Faux 15 Car Club coming on through. Yes. Classic Car Club, they represent the entire Bay Area, bringing unique black culture and unity to these community events. I love seeing all these cars. Oh, I love. And I can they are imagine them practicing the choreography before oh they goodness. got here. Right? Like you to the left, me to the right. <laughs> right. <laughs> now reverse. Follow me, but not too close. <laughs> right, right, right. Give me some space to shine yes, on my yes, own. Yes, too. yes. Gotta hear my beats as well. <laughs> I heard somebody oh, blaring some uh, Michael Jackson yes. uh, down there for just a second ago. Oh, the bikes are coming And speaking through. of the things bikes. on wheels, we got the scraper bike team. I can see them. And they got the youngsters, too. That's what I love. Oh, wow. Look at how beautiful those bikes are with the decorations. They're all color coordinated, too. And they have bike safety. You see how they have all their reflective gear on? And helmets. Yes. We'd yes. love to we see that. We do it right. 
Oh, awesome. Let's listen in. Five. This might be a new favorite earworm right here. I know. If you can hear the music, this is the Wheels on the Bus remix. <laughs> Gotta have the remix. They have all types of modified bikes, BMX frames, uh, decorated spokes. I mean, they really go all out. Uh, and they've been at this since 2006 here in the Bay Area. Uh, so you've probably seen them ride down yeah. uh, Broadway before. And I mean, they're pieces of art. They're not just bikes. Yeah. I mean, they're gorgeous. Absolutely. Yeah. People take their bikes very seriously. Yeah. Put a lot of time, energy, hard work into them. And then they go ride in and have a good time. I know, on a beautiful day. Well, it is a great day out here in Oakland. We are going to take a short break here on the stream, but we will be right back bringing you all the glorious joy from the Black Joy Parade. Keep it here. The Black Joy Parade on ABC7news.com, sponsored in part by McDonald's. Bagels are finally here at McDonald's. Delicious eggs and cheese with a tender steak patty or thick cut bacon or savory sausage. They're here in all their warm toasted glory. Order ahead in the McD app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Another one in the books, but we're just getting started. Everything been going well? Oh yeah. Let's take a look at this name. Because it's the work behind the scenes that truly matters. Got it at 120. Out the full extension. Love the sound of that. For your mind, for your body, oh, and for the community. Damn. For all that is me, for all that is you. Kaiser Permanente. This is ABC 7 24 7. In South Lake Tahoe. In Monterey County. In San Francisco. Live in Walnut Creek. Hey. Watching ABC 7 News Live. Anytime, anywhere. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are where you are. are. Never miss a moment of the news that matters to you. Download our ABC 7 Bay Area streaming app. Join us and start watching. Local stories, real answers. ABC 7, building a better Bay Area. All right, welcome back to the Black Joy Parade out here in Oakland on Franklin Street. We are enjoying the love. Look at all the kids out there uh. and the families. This is great, seventh annual. And we got Jump Squad coming by if we start to take a look out in the street. And they are blasting the tunes right yeah. now. Yeah. Right. The perfect tunes for today is giving family reunion. It yeah. is. It's and that is what uh, the Black Joy Parade really feels like to me, Absolutely. Taylor. A big family reunion where we all get to gather and have such great fun every year. And what says a family reunion more than jumping some rope? Right? <laughs> I'm waiting for the double dutch. Right, right, Count me exactly. in. Count me in. Right. <laughs> no, you're able to do the double dutch and move at the same time. Right, that is right. That would be incredible. Professional. Oh, man. And up next, we have the Black Cultural Zone. And they are bringing the tunes to us yeah. here in downtown Oakland for the yeah. seventh annual Black Toy Parade. Shout out to CJ. She is the CEO of the Black Cultural Zone. And they are building a community housing development that has 115 units. Yes. Just like there is a Chinatown district, there will be a Black Cultural Zone district with buildings, an entertainment media center, and all the bells and whistles. So shout out to CJ, another phenomenal woman, making it happen and doing oh, yeah. big things in the bay. Making sure people thrive. Ooh, Panther Skate Plaza. Woo, West Side Rollers. They have some serious skills right oh, now goodness. as they slide by us. <laughs> hey. Looking smooth. Slide to the Looking back. Good. Another thing that is so uniquely Oakland is just seeing folks down the street at a park. They are going to be skating. They are going to be rollerblading and making it look so smooth and effortless like this. Is that where Usher learned, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's big in the culture, right? It is, Usher it being is. from Atlanta, that is another uh, iconic skate culture. Yeah. People, you know, grew up going to those skating rinks. Oh, and... absolutely. I did. You knew where to catch me on a Friday Oh, night yeah, night girl. Night. In my neon. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on. <laughs> that was my introduction to the club. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, we got the Prescott Circus Theater coming through. Juggling, we got clowns. 
Dilt. Oh my gosh. They do such a great job that of takes hard incorporating work. youth into this too. I mean, yep. you might think those are adults on those stilts right no. now, but those are kids, elementary and middle school age kids that are doing their thing uh, on their stilts. See, they hustle. They know how to do it. Wow. The balance oh. impeccable. And the costumes, they're gorgeous. The colors, the kente cloth. Hey, everyone. And speaking of redefinition of a hustler and all the young kids out here, shout out to the parents who are hustling to make sure that their oh, kids yeah. are active and involved yep. and enriched in all the beautiful programming that is offered here in Oakland and the Bay itself. Yeah, get involved, give back, make the community a stronger place. It's so important. And you lead yes. by example. You can't just tell them, you got to show them. Absolutely. And it's an introduction and uh, immersion in black culture. We are sharing and passing down history every time that we do a poem, every time that we practice a tradition. This is how it moves on for generations and generations to come. Yeah, otherwise it gets lost and we can't have that. Exactly. Absolutely. And that is one of the reasons that Alicia Greenwell decided to start the Black Joy Parade some seven years ago, right? She wanted to see more positivity happening in the community. She wanted to be able to have an event where we can all gather and be here in joy, not just sorrow like we so often right gather when something bad happens, but in the good that we know happens every day in Oakland. And there are people yes. that make this happen. Yes. And another thing about Alicia, you will see Alicia riding around today. Let's just say a congratulations <laughs> to the new mother. She had a baby like yesterday. <laughs> She's she out here. here making things go. Her and also the co-founder of the Black Joy Parade, Amber. We got to give a shout out to Amber. We love you, boo. Yeah, talk about the uh, redefinition of a hustler. That would be Alicia, <laughs> who, who is hustling to make this all happen. Uh, right. Like you mentioned, even though she just gave birth just a couple of weeks ago. And hey. speaking of birth. Yeah, Black Infant Health coming through. I've got a little flag. I'm waving it, too. Oh, look at them. Let's listen. Yeah, let's see if we might be able to check in with ABC7 News reporter Zach Quintes. How's it going, Zach? Hello, you guys. I'm just passing you right now. Look at Black Infant Health just picking up the energy. Let me tell you something. They were the first, one of the first contingents to get here today. When you guys got here, the whole energy shifted. The party started. I'm with Sabrina Beavers with Black Infant Health. You guys are presenting sponsor here for Black Joy Parade. What does that mean? That means monumental things, considering that this is a family-centered event, and we're program that supports our black moms and babies. So it was a perfect partnership for us to have. Yeah, you guys are doing so much work to really give black families a leg up from the beginning, these children a leg up from the beginning, these mothers. What are some of the things that you guys are dealing with? There are so many statistics that are just heartbreaking that you guys are working to turn around. Yeah, our program helps to provide social support. It helps to increase, decrease their isolation and help them make sure that they know what their rights are so they can advocate for themselves when it comes to their medical providers to reduce adverse birth outcomes. You guys are doing that work, doing an excellent job with it, and you are here today. For the people at home, describe the feeling out here right now. The energy is so radiating. You got to be here in order to feel it. Absolutely. If you're not here, come next year. But right now, we got a stream for you. Thank you, Sabrina, for all the great work you're doing for talking with us. It is incredible out here. Just like Sabrina said, this energy is so amazing. The joy, you can just feel it. We're having the best time out here. I'm on Franklin right now. We got even more contingents coming now that I can't wait to show you guys. But for right now, I'm going to toss it back to you. Yeah, you know, I talked to Sabrina earlier this week. It's so important. They're going to be at the Little Joy stage. Mm. Story time for the kids. Hey, everyone. <laughs> There's going to be a mommy lounge in case you need to do some nursing. You know, it's really important just that people know that there are resources out there for them. It is. And also, we want to emphasize that Black Joy is for people of all ages. Oh, yes. Uh, and not just for black folks. Nope. We're going to see people of every race and ethnicity here uh, for the 7th Annual Black Joy Parade. Uh, and it's such a good time. As you can see, people are bringing the energy as they walk behind us here, yeah. uh, marching down Franklin. I like the, the message on their shirts, lift every voice. We all need to come together. That's the only way we can make this a better place. Yeah. We've got to come together. Now, this is the seventh annual Black Joy Parade, and every year the parade gets bigger and bigger. So not only do we have tens of thousands of people coming out today, there's more and more satellite events that happen around the Black Joy Parade itself. You want to talk a little bit about the golf and bruise oh. tournament? Yeah, there's so much yeah, there's happening today. 
Hey, and there have been events happening all week oh. long. It's been incredible. Uh, let's take a short break here on air. Don't go anywhere because we have more Black Joy Parade coverage streaming to you live from Franklin Street. We'll be right back. The Black Joy Parade on ABC7News.com. Sponsored in part by Oakland Recycles. Learn how to recycle right. Did you know the average person throws away over four pounds of material a day? That's why recycling is so important. Recycling rules have changed over the years, so it's time to learn how to recycle right. Have a waste sorting plan that starts inside your home. Know what recycling material is accepted in your cart. Keep recyclables empty, clean, and dry. Put loose items in the cart. Avoid using bags. Not sorting properly keeps recycled materials from having a second life. For more information, visit oaklandrecycles.com. When a truck hit my car, the insurance company wasn't fair. I didn't know what my case was worth, so I called the Barnes firm. I'm Rich Barnes. It's hard for people to know how much their accident case is worth. Let our injury attorneys help you get the best result possible. After having to serve 20 years in prison, you try to find the catalyst, the moment where you go wrong. You can't become a firefighter. It's a real 180. You know, you being a minister of society, now then, you actually being a hero. The job is so hard, it's so rigorous, that I ask myself, what in the hell are you doing out here, dude? You know, if I'm in this, I'm in this. It ain't no way out, you know, burning boats. It's no more wasting time. I gotta stay strong for the women that's fighting out here. Push the limits, we see where they at. It's in me to be a firefighter. Happy Black History Month from all of us at ABC7. Welcome back. You are watching live our Black Joy Parade coverage here. We are in downtown Oakland along Franklin Street where you can feel the energy, the excitement, you hear the music, and you see all of these big smiling faces because we are loving this gorgeous weather for the seventh annual Black Joy Parade. You're looking at Afro Play Oakland, and look at all of these adorable babies. Oh, sweet. <laughs> and that is it. That is our youth coming together. We love to see families out here. Everyone coming together to have a great time on this beautiful day. Oh, look at this. All of the beautiful Hello. outfits that they're wearing, the colors. Gorgeous. Everyone is bringing the energy in so many different ways here yes. for and the there 7th have been, Annual Parade. You know, we're here at the parade. This is where we are live. But there are so many other things going on. Taylor. Absolutely. So the Black Joy Parade, this is its seventh year. Mm -hmm. And every year there's more and more events that are added to satellite events that sur surround the parade. So let's get into the Black Planter Party hosted by Hella Plants Market, another black female owned organization. So, or so Oakland, they have their annual adult prom. Uh, you know me, I'm the founder of Gold Beams. Every year we present a special edition second Mondays with Red Bull in the Black Joy Parade, giving prizes to all the artists out there and on April 22nd there is the golf and grooves tournament now that is the black joy parade fundraiser so if you like golf and if you like cookouts like I do I mean, who does <laughs> who doesn't love a cookout if you like a good hot dog like I do <laughs> then you want to be there so you can go ahead and go on the blackjoyparade.org to register for more and more fun throughout the year because we're not just celebrating today no it's black joy every day Especially here in the town. Um, right. it's gorgeous. Sometimes you get pulled away by the different music I that know. you're and hearing I see, behind us. I think some dancers may be coming down. Right. And what's playing is Make It Last Forever. Oh, and yeah. I think that's the omen, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> because we're trying to make yes, this, yes, this yes, feeling right now last forever. Let's see if we can check back in with ABC7 News reporter Zach Fuentes by chance. Uh, Zach, I think you might be closer down to some of the contingents. Hey guys, can you hear me? Can you see me? We can hear you. Oh, there he is. Okay. It is so loud out here. It is so much fun out here. I can hardly hear through my earpiece, and that is a good thing. That's what we want at the Black Joy Parade. There is a ton of joy. We got Oakland Head Start coming right now. Going to block the shot here. Let me get in front and not get hit by a bus on camera. That would be fun. Hi. <laughs> 
Look, people are having such an amazing time out here. We just saw one dance group motivate to elevate, enriching kids, bringing dance to them in their lives, encouraging them through performing arts. We know what Head Start does. This is getting kids set off on the right foot from such a young age, an important thing in any community. And here in the city of Oakland, it is no exception. We got some bikes coming down. We got some cheerleaders say that they're tigers coming up this way. And as you see, people on the sides of the streets have been just kind of creeping in a little closer to Franklin Street. Everybody just wants to be so close to all of the action here because it's just such a good time. And I really hope and I believe that that's being translated through the cameras right now, through the TV screen. Let's talk with these folks right here. Who are you guys with? Triumph Academy Tigers! Tell me about them. These girls are amazing. They go to Triumph Academy. We're at school in Oakland. We're on 67th, 62nd and MacArthur. Awesome. What are you guys doing for these girls here? What do they get from this? There is experience in community, a sense of community engagement, and bonding with that community. We try to make sure we make a well-rounded well, well -rounded, uh, person as they come to our community at our school. So making sure they're invested in their community and things outside that community. That's what we're seeing today here at the parade. It's awesome. Thank you so much Thank for stopping you. to talk. And what I love out here today is seeing the young people out here, like she said, invested in their community, engaged in their community, doing something for their community that's not just good for the people watching, but good for them too. We're seeing so much of that today. That is probably one of my favorite parts about this event. So we're going to continue to bring you some more of that right now. I'll toss it back to you and have some more contingents for you later. All right, thank you so much, Zach Fuentes, live along the parade route for us for this Black Joy Parade. Uh, again, there's so many contingents, more than 115 of them here for the parade, and everyone is doing something different. We got folks on skates, we saw folks uh, on bikes, we've seen people in buses, uh, and of course we saw and those classic muscle cars oh, too. Oh, those were good. Amazing. Maybe not good. Yes. Uh, we saw so many little cheerleaders coming by right now, and now we have the adults with their pop up. Hey, everyone! Now, having Ju a great time. Julian, you asked me what is the best thing to wear during the Black Joy Parade. We did during our interview at Midday Live on Friday. And you have to have comfortable shoes, mm -hmm. you have to have layers, and if you're going to the Toast of Life after party at Cry Baby, you gotta have some deodorant on. <laughs> <laughs> Please, we're begging you. We are partying all day today. So again, if after our great headliner, which we'll dive into, mm -hmm. uh, you still want to party, you still want to groove, we are meeting at Crybaby with uh, Toast of Life, founded by Matt and Warren, to party some more. And if All you right. live in Oakland, you know Toasted Life is always the place to be. We want to check back in now with ABC7 News reporter Zach Fuentes, who has more flavor from the parade route. Hey, Zach. Hey, we got another great contingent out here. Achieve Academy, finding joy in the hustle. That's a theme, redefinition of the hustler. Find joy in the hustle. What does that mean? Well, find joy in the hustle? Right here, this day to hustle. We hustling for them daily. For the students, it's about that. Making Oakland proud, making their families proud, embracing one another. This is our black and brown community. It's not just about black, it's about everyone. What's that mean, coming together today for joy? Coming together on an occasion like this, celebration, excitement? Um, for me, I guess I would say, just to show people that there's a beauty in Oakland that seems to like not be uh, put out there as much as it used to be. Oakland still have beauty, still have culture, and this day means a lot, and I wish we could have much more than this one. It will continue to have beauty, have joy and culture, because we see these kids out here right. doing this, appreciating their community. Thank you so much for no, chatting with you. us. We're going to continue to see you guys walk right. along in the route right here. Again, you guys, such an exciting time. A lot of great young people out here. Hi, guys. Hi. I want to toss it back to you. Bye. Oh, yes. It is about the beauty and making sure that Oakland and the culture thrives. It is. It is. And, you know, there are tough times that Oakland is facing right now, but we can put all of that aside. We can uh, shed any um, of the doubt that Oakland is still a lovely place to be, to live, to raise your family, and to be a part of such rich history, culture, and a legacy of black excellence here in Oakland. It is celebrating the culture. Oh, here we go. These cars are just absolutely are gorgeous. gorgeous. Each one with a different paint job. Oh, and you know what? I love seeing all the little kids out here in their bright colors, their African wear. It's just so inspiring to see the youth getting in on the culture. It's it's so important so we don't forget where we came from. Absolutely. And you know what else is inspiring? All of the money that circulates 
throughout black businesses and black people today. Mm -hmm. So the parade brings in an incremental $100,000 to black owned restaurants alone every year. Okay, that's a tenth of a million dollars, y'all. That's important. And I feel like that estimate is so conservative, yes, too, because I by the so too. listen, if you have been uh, over there to the uh, Black Joy Parade, uh, what am I trying to say? The big gathering that we have uh, afterwards, there is everything from shea butter uh, to your, your new favorite gear. I saw them yes. setting up all types of tents when I was walking over here earlier today so uh, with so many unique products. It really is. There is close to 200 vendors in the Bay in Oakland today. So I hope you bought your tote bags. <laughs> and I hope you bought your credit cards or cash. And listen, Taylor, if you didn't bring the tote bag, you could probably buy one. They're going to sell one to you, too. Absolutely. OK, and you can fill it up with more stuff along the way, for Everything sure. Everything you need, we got it today, baby. <laughs> and it's a taste. If you're not from Oakland, you can come here and taste it. We went to Sober Mesa. We, we had did. our lunch there. Right. Oh, my God. So oh my the, the plantain. Perfect. Come on. Oh, yeah. If you have never been to Sober Mesa or Alameda, both owned by Chef Nelson, uh, a former contestant winner of Top Chef, got to check it out. Uh, we're going to take a short break here with our live coverage of the annual Black Joy Parade. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. The Black Joy Parade on ABC7News.com, sponsored in part by AC Transit. When I think about black history, I think about preserving legacy. My family opened our first McDonald's location in 1988, and now I'm a next-generation owner-operator continuing that legacy. Over the past three decades, we have supported our local community in many ways. Through mentorship and volunteering efforts, we have contributed to the Ronald McDonald House, the Boys and Girls Club of the Peninsula, and other charitable causes. I want to be an example to other young black entrepreneurs and inspire the next generation to give back. I'm Lauren, and I'm creating black history at McDonald's. Grab the keys to a new fuel-efficient Toyota. It's time to get out there with more peace of mind and legendary dependability behind the wheel of a new Toyota, the most reliable brand on the road. Right now, lease a sporty Corolla for just $249 a month or lease a stylish new Camry for just $259 a month after a $1,000 bonus cash. Grab the keys, let's go. Toyota, let's go places. Local stories, real answers. ABC7, building a better Bay Area. Welcome back to the 7th Annual Black Joy Parade. We are live on Franklin Street celebrating all things black. We are, and it's been so much fun to be with you for about the last 30 minutes. And don't go anywhere because we have at least another hour of coverage yeah. as we see all of the contingents, all of the different organizations that will be marching down Franklin Street as a part of the annual Black Joy Parade. Taylor, it is so good to be with you here once again for a second year. Oh, absolutely. It's great to be amongst all of these beautiful black people dancing in the streets. We got bubbles over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got food. We got flags. A bubble maker. A bubble maker, yeah. not yeah. champagne. Bro. Uh, but, although but that should. might be appropriate, right? It is a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Soon with us, head up to the After Party Act Pride, baby, hosted by Toast of Life at 7 p.m. There you go. So I think we are looking at the Village Method. Yep. Uh, one of the contingents here for the Black Joy Parade. You see some young folks holding up their uh, sign as they make their way down Franklin Street. Yes, there they are, and we can hear them, too. They got those thunder sticks. Oh. That's right, kids. Make some noise. Be heard. <laughs> Don't be silent. Be heard. And that is the energy that people are bringing all day here as they march along Franklin Street for the Black Joy Parade. Look at those smiles of these uh, young kids that are just excited to be together. I love when you suddenly just see a mass of people coming down Franklin Street. You just get so much energy. And the little, oh, the little girl with her little pom-pom, she's so cute. Adorable. Oh, hey. <laughs> And over and over again today, we talked about the importance of the youth seeing what's happening yeah. today. Again, we are the speakers of culture. We talk 
our history throughout the lines of the generations that come. And we're adults, so we know the, uh, the magnificence of black history, mm. of black excellence. We got babies here that are learning right now. Mm. When they get older, they're gonna be like, oh, I remember going to the Black Joy Parade and it made me feel like this and it showed me that. So this is a huge educational experience for uh, both old and young and very, very important. Mm. Yeah, and Taylor, you've been a part of this for several years now. What has it been like for you just seeing it grow each year? My favorite part of working with the Black Joy Parade is the sisterhood in the community that they bring even amongst the team. So when we started five years ago, oh, story time. <laughs> okay, Goodness, here we go. Here we story go. Story time. So Gold Beams, our signature second Monday's open mic, was hosted at the Red Bay Roastery, which they have now outgrown the roastery. It's the mm -hmm. coffee factory. Um, and we had been doing it for a year, and the owner's daughter, Jessica Mankata, now the owner of a black wine and beverage shop, Al Alkali Rye, mm. uh, introduced me to Alicia. They were coming in. They were looking for an open mic, and Jessica was like, hey, girl, you know, open mic already happens here. Let me connect you with Taylor. Again, the connection of just black sisterhood, leveling up um, and making connections. And so for five years, we've been working with them ever since. And the people on that team are not only my colleagues, but they are my sisters. They are who I call when I'm boohooing on the phone. They are who I call when I need a word of upliftment. And so they embody the energy of the parade right now amongst their work culture with the people who they work with every day. Mm. So beautifully said, because uh, that is really a testament, a part of the black experience, right? Uh, working to level each other up, right? Absolutely. And lifting a, a hand. Uh, you know, to continue to better our community. Absolutely. That's what black people do every single time. When you are at work, you go ahead and you pull your people up. Yeah. This is what we do. This is what we kn we're known for. And that's another tradition that we just pass on to our kids. Every year, I'm so excited to see the black leaders that come about. And they come about because they are people who are their mentors. They are people who they are learning from. Um, to, and people who are putting them in places like this, here we are, black anchors, co-hosting this huge event because we have people like Alicia, because we have people like Amber putting us in these positions. So just another thank you to the founders, to the team. Um, the excellence and the opportunities just spread throughout everybody here in the bay and, and that representation is so important exactly we're showing the younger generation what they can do they can be anything 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 they set their sights on it they certainly can achieve it for sure uh, we are looking at the afro, afro comic, comic con. con okay mario b productions soul of pride so let's uh tune in to see what they got cracking right now with the afro comic con Some incredible costumes oh right now, both inside of the bus and even just a bit in front of them, too. You can tell they are having a good time. We can't quite hear the song yet, uh, but they are vibing to it right now. I kind of want that hat. See that fuzzy hat, that pink hat in front? <laughs> I want that. And I believe we have Bay Area Congresswoman oh, yes! right here, Barbara Lee. Hey, Barbara. Oh, it's great to see so many people, smiling faces. This is what it's all about. We are live here at the Black Joy Parade, seventh annual. Turn it up. <laughs> oh, you see where the real party is. Woo! It's right on top of that Afro Comic Con. But Look at that coat. Come on. They are bringing <laughs> the energy and the swag with these looks right now. Oh, it feels hey. good. Hey. It feels Tony, 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 good. Feels good. All right. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, baby. Bring in the energy. All right. <laughs> oh, singing live, too. I love it. Oh, is this Miss Black USA? Miss yes. Black California USA, it is right here in the convertible with that signature wave and smile, and of course the Beautiful tiara to match too. purple. Miss Black California USA, everyone. Representing us oh so well. Goodness. Look so at the great. I'm always great. so amazed I by know. 
a wave. See, I'm out here going like right. people, and she's just got smooth gray. Right. Hey, they best to talk, not to wave, all right? We, we can't be perfect. That's we can't true. Be perfect. We can't do it all. We can't right. do it all. And some of us out here are giving head nods like myself because that speaks for itself. There it is. All right, there this is. is the Essence dance team. I hope they dance for us. I want to see. With a relatively new established in 2021. But I bet they're good. And they are a group of young girls. They're from all over the Bay Area learning the art and culture of the HBCU majorettes. And Taylor, I know you went to the Mecca. H-U? <laughs> <laughs> and no, we're not, gonna, know. we're not gonna start any Howard Hampton drama here <laughs> on oh, this really live stream. Because we already know who was founded first. It's no argument. <laughs> it's no argument. Shout out to Hampton. Extra shout out to Howard in the bill. <laughs> of course, of course. And here we are uh, looking the at the dance team right now. Let's and see the what energy. They got. It's sass in class. Sass in class, I like that. I'm going to use it. The energy, the confidence. Yeah. And again, to be able to do all the moves as you're marching down Franklin Street, the coordination. It's the endurance for me, y'all. Right. I know. All right. They're doing this for five blocks, by the way. They are doing it. And we are out here live at the Black Joy Parade. We are going to take a quick break, but we are coming right back. The Black Joy Parade on ABC7News.com, sponsored in part by McDonald's. When I think about black history, I think about preserving legacy. My family opened our first McDonald's location in 1988, and now I'm a next generation owner operator continuing that legacy. Over the past three decades, we have supported our local community in many ways. Through mentorship and volunteering efforts, we have contributed to the Ronald McDonald House, the Boys and Girls Club of the Peninsula, and other charitable causes. I want to be an example to other young black entrepreneurs and inspire the next generation to give back. I'm Lauren, and I'm creating black history at McDonald's. I was injured in a car crash. I had no idea how much my case was worth. Call the Barnes firm to find out what your case could be worth. We will help you get the best result possible. Hold on, we had we just had a shooting. Hold on. Two shootings. Hold on, let me send these out. Please follow up with next action steps. Thank you. I'm Kevin. I do violence prevention for the city of Oakland. Lots of drama in the town. As long as you be authentic and timely with these youngsters, you can keep healthy relationships with them before the bullets start flying. Kev, we gonna get the job done. I'm tracking the weather for your Monday morning commute. Watch ABC7 Morning. Oh, hey there. Welcome back to the Oakland Black Joy Parade. Now in its seventh year, we are so excited to be streaming to you we live are. here from Franklin Street. Uh, we are probably about a third of the way through the contingent so yep. far, and we have seen so many incredible things. Dancers, from cheerleaders, the cars, flags, flags, costumes, roller skates. The roller roller skates. skates. I feel like we're going to go roller skate after. We got to do this. Oh, that it's a date. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get some, apparently. Okay, y'all going to have to help me out because I, I start slipping and sliding and going backwards. I can't do all that. We will not judge you. Oh, thank we you so much. Not. Look at all the families <laughs> so out much. here. She said it's each one kindness. teach one. Right. So I might stay in circles around you. you know? I think she Just will. Just the inspiration. Mm -hmm. I got to motivate I have you. to aspire to something. Yeah. Exactly. There exactly. It is. There it is. All right. Well, it's looking good. We are enjoying the parade out here. We are live. Our Zach Fuentes is along the parade route. As contingents are coming by, he's stopping and talking to people. You know, it's all about the redefinition of the hustler. That's right. We are so good at taking a term mm -hmm. that may have had a negative connotation and flipping it hustle we are working hard we are working together the black community comes together as you said Taylor earlier we lift each other up absolutely um, without working together and without the hard work that we do we would not be here I think today's joy is evidence of all of the foundation and all of the sweat and all of the work that we do to make our world the place that we want to live in um, that's evident today. And today we can rest easy, we can be joyful because we put in that hustle. And we deserve that 
joy today because of the work that we do. It's it great. certainly is. It certainly is. And uh, again, we are just so excited to be here and enjoying this gorgeous weather on this Sunday. Uh, if you were with us last year, it rained, it poured, it was cold. Oh, uh, but today, man, the sun the is shining bright <laughs> and it is just beautiful outside. Uh, and let's talk about just how multi-dimensional blackness is, right? Yes. It is not oh, just absolutely. one thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming up, the next contingent that we're going to see, Asreas de uh, Dosomba. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully I didn't completely, completely butcher it. Uh, it is Portuguese, and they are Brazilian dance troupe, and they are all about the samba. Uh, I went to Brazil, actually, last year. Oh, did you? I okay. happened to be in Salvador and São Paulo, and just to be able to see us on a different continent. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking a completely different language and just immersed in their beautiful and rich culture and experience. Again, uh, just speaking to the richness of the black experience and blackness uh, as it is. The food, the music, right. the spirituality. Yeah, there's Don't so much the diversity food. in being black. Yes, absolutely. Well, we hear the beautiful music. We see them coming up. I can see them. And our Zach is on the parade route. Do I see Zach too? See, I'm, I have a good viewpoint. I can look straight ah. down there and I can see what's coming. <laughs> and I do see the, the next contingent coming through. It is such a great day out here. You know, it's perfect. We have a little bit of a breeze. I, if you're not, if you're not at home, if you think you can come down here, you want to get out of the house is what you I'm definitely saying. Do. There's still time because it's not just the parade. There's a lot of other stuff going on. Oh, the parade and the festival go on until 7 o'clock. And again, that after party is from 7 to 1 a.m. at Crybaby. So we partying all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's That's how how and then go dance, maybe even the samba later. And we're not telling you to call in sick uh, tomorrow no, no, or anything no, no, no. We would never, like um, that. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> but people are going to be partying, as Taylor mentioned, all night long. Uh, we're looking live at that uh, group that we were just talking about, Estrellas de Samba, uh, and they are doing the samba as they walk down the street right here. a little Let's check in with Zach Fuentes right now, who is live along the parade route. What are you getting into, Zach? This is one of my favorite ones. I'm the Afro-Latino in the crowd, so this is my favorite. Estrellas do Samba, what do you guys do? Estrellas do Samba. Oh, it's different in Portuguese. Samba, or no black people, roots. Samba dancing, Afro Brazil, yeah. I love it. How much fun are you having? So much fun. Samba is made by the Africans of Brazil. And my auntie, Afro Brasileira, and it's all about More beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> they are having the best time out here. They're taking their time coming down this route because the crowds on either side are having the best time. They're dancing along. I'm seeing little kids who are just learning how to walk dancing to this music. It's the best time out here. And again, it's reflected that there are so many different cultures that we contribute to, that we are adding to, and joy in different ways through different art forms. So this is just an amazing time. We have even more contingents coming down. They got the sides telling them to speed it up, but everybody doesn't, nobody wants them to leave on either side of the road here. <laughs> They're for the best time, but if you can imagine, we have even more exciting contingents on the way down here. So this is so much fun. See some education. I see some school buses. I see so much more coming down here. So many different shades, so many different faces, so many different age groups. This is an amazing time. Seventh year that we're doing this. I know so many people are now seeing this as a tradition, family tradition, and that is one of the best things about this. So right now we're going to wait for some more contingents to come down. I'm going to toss it back to you and enjoy a little more of this music. Yeah, and it just it just illustrates that there is no one black experience. And you can learn about different cultures while you're here. Oh, listen to that voice. Let's listen. 
redemption song. Say, Lord, go! Say, Lord, don't be afraid. Redemption song. Redemption song. Songs of freedom. Songs of freedom. Showstopper right there. They are bringing the sights, the sound, the vocals, singing live here. Look at those costumes. What a beautiful experience here on such a gorgeous day in Oakland. Today we had the Afro-Latinos out. We had the Afro-Caribbeans out. Yes. We got the Africans out. We yes. got the African-Americans out. We are Black Joy out here. It is diversely black. It is black people having a good time and dancing in the streets. Okay. And of all ages, too, is yes. which I love. Everyone from the Got babies old. to the elders. It is amazing. <laughs> oh, this is great to see. And you know what? We have the Oakland Chinatown Chamber of Commerce coming as well. So like you said, all cultures, we are welcoming. Everybody come down. We are live here Listen, on Franklin Street. You said all cultures. Now, isn't that what black people do? Yep. We just welcome everybody to the table, and that is the grace and the beauty and the compassion and the love that black has, that black people have. We just always invite everybody. There's a seat for everybody at this table. Like, come on over. We got enough food. If not, I'll make more. <laughs> exactly. 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 We gotta make it work. Yes. Oh, so great. We see ethnic ties coming through. I'm hearing a little bit of horn, a little bit of kazoo at the same time <laughs> as they make their way down Franklin Street. Oh, oh, they're giving me something. What are they giving me? All a right. Fire? Am I going to a party later? Oh, all right. Okay. All right. You got okay. three of them. I got three. Oh, one got? for each of us. Okay. We got all right. things to Oh, zoom. Black Oakland mini tour. Oh, that's cool. So you can visit historic and cultural landmarks because there is so much to see in Oakland. There so is. And obviously, Oakland has such a rich history. I'm seeing the Black Panther Party yep. a mural that is on the Black Panther Party a Museum. And I believe it's right off of 6th or 7th Street right. um, in uh, downtown Oakland, which is really yes. making sure that we preserve the rich history of the Black Panther Party, which was, of course, founded right here in Oakland. And shout out to Rachel Wolf, the muralist that designed and painted the Woman of the Black Panther Party mural again it's in gorgeous. West Oakland. Um, on, I want to say it's the first mural that's honoring the women of the Black Panther Party specifically. So shout out to Rachel Wolf. You will also see her mural on the Tribune Tower. So that beautiful woman that's dancing um, across the building, um, again, made by Rachel Wolf. We also have Timothy B, who is another artist that is tagging up Oakland with beautiful black art. He is so incredible, Timothy amazing. B. Amazing. Yeah, his work is, is amazing. Um, and there's nothing more iconic than the Tribune Tower, right? So to be able to have your work on the Tribune Tower, incredible. Oh, more dancing coming through. Bringing the energy, yeah. bringing the booms right now. Go. Hey. Let's go! Ha. Ha. Woo. Yes.
Come on, ride the train. Oh, there we go. All right, all right. Bart, and ride that train. And we right to Bart. <laughs> Which is key, because you know parking can be oh, tight man. in downtown Oakland on a good day. If you were thinking about coming to the festival afterwards, definitely go ahead and take Bart. You can get right off at 19th Street, and it'll let you out right into the festival so you can enjoy all of the festivities once the parade wraps up. through there's another big bus coming and it is loaded and i think this is the <laughs> mayor's office of course uh, shin tao is the mayor of oakland she's just finishing up her first year in office and i believe she is at the top of the bus right there you can see her in the yellow as they make their way down Franklin ah Street. yes i see her waving it's a good thing it isn't raining like last year mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> can't say that enough bit about art and also spreading that black dollar. So the Black Joy Parade commits to paying every performing artist that we will see tonight on the stage. Up to $500,000 has wow. been paid to artists, um, which my personal philosophy is supporting black creators making careers in their art, period. And the Black Joy Parade commits to doing that. Cause you know art ain't for free. We got Trevor, the founder of Oak Stop in the building. We have Carol Fife and hey. several other, several other uh, council members here in the city of Oakland. Yes, and Trevor is celebrating some big news. He is now the owner of a prime building located right here in downtown. He is the owner of a suite of co-working spaces. And again, one of these buildings he now Well, if it's hard to hear us right now, yeah. that is because the Alameda County fire truck is making its way <laughs> down Franklin Street right now. You know that young kids always love seeing a fire oh, truck. Yes. <laughs> well, that's great because it's hot outside, baby. You on fire. <laughs> oh, there's a little that's girl on the back. She's so oh, cute. look at the little kids having a great time uh, hanging out on the fire oh. truck. You've been watching our live coverage of the seventh annual Black Joy Parade year streaming to you from ABC7 News. We'll take a short break. We'll be more back with more live coverage after this. The Black Joy Parade on abc7news.com. Sponsored in part by Oakland Recycles. Learn how to recycle right. Did you know the average person throws away over four pounds of material a day? That's why recycling is so important. Recycling rules have changed over the years, so it's time to learn how to recycle right. Have a waste sorting plan that starts inside your home. Know what recycling material is accepted in your cart. Keep recyclables empty, clean, and dry. Put loose items in the cart. Avoid using bags. Not sorting properly keeps recycled materials from having a second life. For more information, visit OaklandRecycles.com. Bagels are finally here at McDonald's. Delicious eggs and cheese with a tender steak patty or thick cut bacon or savory sausage. They're here in all their warm toasted glory. Order ahead in the McD app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Seems like everybody has an opinion about San Francisco. That it's disgusting, dangerous, that we're doomed. I'm Reggie Aki. I live here in the city. No matter where you are in the Bay Area, you know we face our challenges here. It is frustrating. That's why at ABC7 News, we're looking for ideas, solutions, local stories with real answers, so we can help make all of this better. Black History Month is really a time just to come together and celebrate all that we are, all that we've built, all that we've contributed, all that we have overcome, and what is yet to come. Welcome back to the Black Joy Parade. We are live here in Oakland on this beautiful, gorgeous Sunday afternoon on Franklin Street. We are having a great time. Lots of families out here enjoying black culture, black history, everything the black community has to offer. And most importantly, black joy for yes. the seventh annual Black Joy Parade. Everyone is smiling, having such a great time uh, as we gather here in community to just celebrate the black experience and to come together. And we are sitting in between two prominent black businesses. The first is Sobre Mesa, which we just had their oxtail, and them oxtails mm. is pop. 
boxes. We might have to run it back after we're done. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I just ordered a second. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Amber Lounge. So, Amber Lounge is also a black owned business. If you are looking for something to do tonight, another night, if you want to party the night away, go ahead to Amber Lounge here on Franklin Street. Yes. yes. And what's so cool, so they actually moved the parade to march down Franklin Street last year because there are more black owned businesses along this corridor. If you know, uh, the parade used to come down Broadway, but they moved it to Franklin last year to really be immersed in more black owned businesses that truly make Oakland, downtown Oakland especially, what it is. Right, and that's just a reflection of when black people get on, we pull each other up. So if that's moving a whole parade blocks over so mm -hmm. that more money can circulate in the business, that's the conversation that's happening in the boardroom, period. And it's nice because people who come out here who maybe don't spend a lot of time in Oakland, they can see what there is to offer, a reason to come back. Absolutely. Yes. We are celebrating the black experience. We are here live at the Black Joy Parade. More contingents coming through. It's a great day. The Buffalo Soldiers just came through. It oh. is. Yeah, you heard the thunder of their bikes right there. Uh, and uh, that's how you know we're having a great time. We are taking a live look right now. And who do we have coming up the pike? People are getting excited I about know. them as they walk down. They looking real clean in that Ooh, white. 106 KMEL. Man, I grew up to cameo. <laughs> <laughs> They're still I'll with be us. Honest, They're I'll be still honest. I'll be honest. We're looking at the 100 black men of the Bay Area. If you know anything about the group, they are all about uh, black men coming together to improve the circumstances of their community. Uh, they do so much great work in the community uh, from mentorship of young kids, especially uh, young black boys, to make them into strong black men. It's so important to have um, good role models. those good role models yeah. for everyone to be able to look up to. You cannot question the black excellence that is sprinkled throughout these, this street, these streets today. We got Scotty's coming through. If you see bubbles, that's from us. <laughs> that's, from, that's from our little ABC 7 setup. We're bringing some joy here. Look at those cars. Oh, this is a gorgeous convertible right here. Woo! Yes, we got Mama in the front. Right looking. It is that a Lamborghini? Yeah. <laughs> I know that's right. The family that Lamborghinis together. <laughs> <laughs> can't relate, Taylor. Can't relate. Me Gorgeous cars, gorgeous cars of both oh, old and, it's and a new. Gorgeous day. I love seeing so many families coming out, enjoying each other, the black culture. Really can't ask for anything more today. You can't, you, you can't. can't. Uh, again, the weather is cooperating uh, in a magnificent fashion for this Black Joy Parade. We were hoping, praying for a forecast like this, yes. and we certainly got it this year for sure. Yes, Mother Nature delivered. We are so <laughs> happy. We are so happy to be here and to be able to bring this to you live as we see everyone live. come by and just share the joy. We know not everyone can get out here. We can't, uh, but if you're at home, we got you covered because we have Zach Fuentes live along the parade route. We're going to check in now with Zach. What's happening, Zach? Yeah, we got Oh my gosh, so much is happening as you can see. We got a little bit of a break here, so I want to talk to some of the crowds here watching. What do you guys think so far? I think that it's a great parade. It's a good way to uh, show the unity that is here in Oakland, and um, we're really enjoying ourselves, uh, all the colorful uh, things going on out here. And we're having a really good time. We support uh, almost every year, so, you know, we're going to keep it going. What do you think? I mean, how is this good? This is only seven years old, but like I was saying earlier, this has really become a tradition for so many of the families now. Yes, what do yes, you think of is. the growth year over year and being back here? Um, 
I think the growth is good. There have been a lot of positive things going on in Oakland and happening in Oakland, and we're really proud to see it, and we're really proud to be a part of it. Yeah. Thank you. So much. You got something to say, too? What do you, no, what do you I think? To, I just said I wanted to say I think this is really nice because they took away the day for the green at Lake Merritt years ago, and that was an uh, event for us to come out, and this re, uh, parade replaced that, and I think it's really good yeah. to bring the community back together and have something like this for Oakland. Yeah, just I mean, like they had the Chinese parade and uh, the, the Looney parade yesterday in uh, San Francisco. Well, exactly, and that's just one of the things I was you know, going to bring up is that this is such a good opportunity for the rest of the Bay Area to really see what Oakland has to offer because sometimes the perception is there's some misperceptions. Yeah, exactly right. So you show it from both sides, and I, it's really a, a joyous occasion of people I really enjoy coming out. So this is family, daughters, and grandchildren. Yeah. <laughs> the whole family. The whole family here. I yeah. love it. And is the whole family going to be back next year? Absolutely. Yes. 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 I'll be looking for you. I'll find you again and put you on camera again. <laughs> That's just some of the feeling out here, you guys. Everybody's having such a great time. You know, I got to speak with the co-founder of the parade on Friday doing a preview story. And, you know, she told me that the first time they were putting this together, they weren't sure if it was just going to be the 10 of them or who was going to show up. Thousands show up to this every single year now. And that is just really speaking to the community here, wanting to show up for one another. People from outside of the community, too, are here also. So this is really just an amazing day for Oakland. And this joy, I know, is going to continue to be carried on long past the weekend. Uh, anywhere from 20 to 30,000 people come out for the parade and festival each year here in Oakland. And I think we might even smash some attendance records this Ooh, year yeah. because the weather is just so gorgeous. Who wouldn't want to be out here nope. uh, for this gorgeous day that You've we have today? You've seen the fancy dance team coming through. Mm, the mm, finest mm, majorette yeah. team in all of Oakland. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Popping the balloons. <laughs> oh, I the wish everybody could see all the kids. The kids are loving the bubble maker that we have I right know. here. I know. The kids are coming over, popping the bubbles. And don't forget, there are other places to be here. There's a little joy stage. You have Black yep. Infant Health. There's a mommy lounge. They're doing story time games. So it really is for the whole family. It's free. So much to check out. You have the Games and Grooves hosted by Jonelle. So if you guys like chess, if you guys like board games, that's here for you. And if you guys like wine, we also have Black Vines here uh, giving you what you need to put a little pep in your step today. <laughs> it was amazing. I was at the uh, Black Vines event yesterday, the 13th annual. It was absolutely incredible. And today you're going to be able to see a selection uh, of the different black owned wines and uh, vintners uh, who you may have never heard of before but hopefully you get to know them when you stop by their black vines tent uh, at the end of the parade route uh, when you get to enjoy all of the different uh, festivities that they have to offer here today yeah and there's music too there's a stage with lots of bands yes so again the winner of our second Monday's open mic for Gold, our Gold Beams and Black Joy Parade partnership is Darius. And he is going to bring some spoken word today, uh, tradition in black culture. Uh, and we also have the Black Joy Parade choir that's going to give us a brighter day. Brighter day. Oh, brighter God. day. Brighter day. <laughs> Are you part of it? Because you could be. I might. Okay. I might just <laughs> head over there with the same mic and Saturday <laughs> job with the Lawrence Burke. <laughs> Don't put it past me. There it is. Uh, let's talk about the headliner for this year. We have Duran Bernard, who is no stranger to the Black Joy Parade uh, festivities. I think it was two or three years ago that he actually had a roller skating event where people were able to come out uh, and see him roller skate because he's so talented. He can roller skate and sing at the same time. I can't do either of them <laughs> separately, let alone together. And he is going to be your Black Joy Parade Festival headliner. Talk for about a multi hyphenate. Come Come on, yes. a little bit of everything, right? Yes, Duran Bernard, you have heard him on tracks with Kate Trinata, with Ari Lennox, with Erica Badu, the queen herself. Mm. And so you know he's going to hit that stage with soul and groove and body rolls, baby. Body <laughs> rolls. Oh. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. <laughs> we have fashion coming through. Phyllis Imelda, Oakland's own. And her students wearing her... Her clothing. I don't know if y'all see this, but we got a lady in the mink jacket. She mm -hmm. said she putting on her From finest head to today. toe. Yes. We are not playing at the Black Joy Parade. We come to show out. And it's Sunday, too, so you got to put on your Sunday's best. Uh, now here's Live Oak School. Yep, and they got the, the world needs Black Joy. Yes, the world needs more Black Joy. Yes. How y'all doing? 
Again, it always feels like such a family reunion yeah. when you're out here for the Black Joy Parade. You're seeing people that you haven't seen in weeks and months, sometimes Absolutely. years, uh, but everyone coming together for a good time here for the I Black Joy Parade. I just like seeing everyone smiling. Yes. I do. You can't I mean, help but to just, smile. It's contagious. It's infectious. People are having a good time. People are having a wonderful time. We got more contingents coming through. All Lots right. of little kids. A lot of people in the streets. A lot of people coming through. On this beautiful day in Oakland, we are on Franklin Street. We are live here at the Black Joy Parade. Seventh annual celebrating everything black. Black culture, black community, black food, black music. love, black yes. business, black art, black dance. And we are certainly feeling all of that here as we take in the parade. Uh, again, it can't be said enough, the number of families and kids that you see out here, again, learning about their culture uh, and seeing so many great role models on such a beautiful day. Right, and these kids are not coming to play. They're coming nope. with attitude. They're coming with sass. They're coming with the dance move. They're coming with the energy. And we are living for it. We are. Oh, you yes. see their pom-poms, their big smiles. They're having a great time out here. Yes, I'm sure they've been practicing all week, probably all month. Oh, just yeah, for, today. for sure. And I'm hearing more music coming up. You can see all the people starting to come through. We got an AKA in the house. Got Cathedral School for Boys. Oh, look at these little ones with their pom-poms. <laughs> All right, Cathedral School. Now, I want to ask you both. Hmm. So since this year's theme is the re redefinition of a hustler, what does it mean to hus be a hustler to you all? <sighs> That's a fantastic that is question. A question. It is. How do y'all hustle? <laughs> you know, hustling for me is making it work. Because I'm a mom. I work a very odd schedule. I work nights. I anchor the evening shows, 5, 6, and 11, get up early. To, you know, I could maybe have my husband take her to school, but I can't. No, I can't let that happen. I have to be there for her. I have to do everything I can for my family, and it's relying on my village, my people, my friends at work, my coworkers, my family. That's the hustle. We're all working together to make sure we're all succeeding. I know that's right. Shout out to all the mothers and all the parents that are watching on the stream live. Julian, how do you hustle? I think I hustle by doing the role that I have here at ABC7, you know, being able to be the race and social justice, race and culture oh, yes. reporter, and really making sure I'm telling stories that are from our community, but from all underserved communities, and giving them a voice to be able to have their uh, questions answered, to have their concerns met. So I think being able to put on for the people that don't always have someone fighting for them is one way that I get to hustle for our people and for all underserved communities. And Julian does it so well. I'm just going to brag on him for a second because the things you bring to light, I mean, it's just incredible to see. So much. I appreciate it is, that. We, we love what you do. It's so. a team effort, and I'm yeah. uh, very proud and honored to be able to have the space, time, and opportunity to tell these important stories. And Taylor, we always see you hustling. I be oh, outside. <laughs> I got six jobs. I don't get tired. <laughs> Okay, so my hustle is event production. So at any given time, I'm producing up to 14 events oh, wow. made often for black creatives to get paid, to have a good time, and to do exactly what we're doing today, to have joy. My mission is to support black creatives making careers in their arts and to produce events that bring black people joy. So every day I'm hustling, whether it's fundraising, whether it's organizing, whether it's partnering with organizations that are larger than me or that are smaller than me or just at my height. Uh, my hustle comes with putting on events that serve the community. Yeah. We're all out here hustling. I hear more music. Oh, I see dancing. All right, let's take in the heat dance line right now. I'm making some dance. Oakland in the Bay Area, but I gotta give a little shameless plug to Ice Spice, my fellow New Yorker that y'all <laughs> Had to do it. She is everywhere. We right. couldn't stop looking at her during the Super Bowl. She had bad in the suite with she Taylor won. Swift. <laughs> <laughs> like every five seconds, I saw Ice Spice. 
All right. So we were just looking at the Heat Dance Team. I couldn't take my eyes off of them. They brought the heat for sure. <laughs> they did. They did. All right, and this is still the Heat Dance here. Team, by the way. This is their crew. They oh, they come out. They come out. Right. They come out seriously. Yep. And we got Black Student Union, St. Paul's Episcopal School. All right. All right. We are all about education. Yes, we are. Oh, I see another one of my cars coming through. Another one of your cars. Uh, you I, 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 okay, okay, you they're not mine. Car collection they're, here. We're they're not mine, on. but you know. <laughs> Your dream car. Yes, yes, yes. Again, I love these beautiful paint jobs. Candy oh, paint. Jackie eyes. Oh, my favorite thing is the speaker system. If yeah, I don't get it on my chest, you got to get it done <laughs> over. <laughs> she said, I need to hear and feel the music. All right. <laughs> and this is my song, what was too. That? <laughs> All right. Well, we are here at the 7th Annual Black Joy Parade. We are live, and we are going to come back after a short break and bring you more of the festivities and the joy. Keep it here. The Black Joy Parade on ABC7news.com, sponsored in part by AC Transit. When I think about black history, I think about preserving legacy. My family opened our first McDonald's location in 1988, and now I'm a next generation owner operator continuing that legacy. Over the past three decades, we have supported our local community in many ways. Through mentorship and volunteering efforts, we have contributed to the Ronald McDonald House, the Boys and Girls Club of the Peninsula, and other charitable causes. I want to be an example to other young black entrepreneurs and inspire the next generation to give back. I'm Lauren, and I'm creating black history at McDonald's. Another one in the books, but we're just getting started. Everything been going well? Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at this name. Because it's the work behind the scenes that truly matters. We got it at 120. Out the full extension. Oh, the sound of that. For your mind, for your body, oh, and for the community. Damn. For all that is me, for all that is you. Kaiser Permanente. Here's what's happening around the Bay Area. The president's visit is part of a three-day California swing to raise money for his 2024 re-election campaign. It was a beautiful picture from our tan cam. We just have a beautiful sunrise right now. Watch ABC7 Mornings. Happy Black History Month from all of us at ABC7. Yes, Black History Month, and we are celebrating Black Joy at the 7th Annual Black Joy Parade in Oakland. We are here on Franklin Street. Oh, man, everybody's bringing the heat. We're loving it. They are. The heat, the energy, the smiles, the excitement, the, the dance moves. Mm -hmm. huh. It's been such a great and beautiful day here in Oakland. Uh, we are along Franklin Street, as you know, since you've been with us for about an hour now. The parade is moving from 14th Street down to 19th Street, and that is where the Black Joy Parade and Festival uh, really gets started, and people are already down there having a good time. It goes time. till 7, right? Oh, it goes until 7, and again, the after party is at, at Friday. Friday, 7 to 1 a.m. It if don't stop. If you have not got here, bring that deodorant, I promise you. <laughs> the deodorant! There's some vendors over here that got you, as well, if you love Ashley, I, I'm, I'm sure the they shea butter They got the shea butter, butter. They got the shea butter for sure. All around. <laughs> Let's listen to the dance team right yeah. here. Bringing the moves. This is great. And you know, for anyone who maybe is just joining us, we are live. Taylor, talk a little bit about what you do. People who watch ABC7, oh. they might know Julian. They might know myself. <laughs> but... Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> So I am the founder of Gold Beams, and Gold Beams produces events made for black people here in the Bay and beyond. Our events go from concerts to open mics to panels. If you want to have a good time, if you want to dance, if you want to party, if you want family reunion vibes, you want to follow us at gold.com beams on Instagram, gold like the metal, beams like laser beams, or go on goldbeams.org to see all the fun events that we do. Perfect. Now, 
once a year we partner with the Black Joy Parade to present a special edition of our open mic second Mondays at the New Parish Concert Hall because we do it big. <laughs> <laughs> and New Parish is such a great venue, by the way. It definitely is. It's a party. And you can come and you can see phenomenal artists and performers. And shameless plug, the next second Monday's open mic to all you artists out there and to all you lovers of art happens at the Crucible on March 11th. You want to be there. <laughs> Go dot beams on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and give Taylor a follow so you can stay yes. plugged in for all of the incredible events that she throws throughout the year, and especially leading up to the Black Joy Parade. And now we're looking at some folks who are, they got the right idea. They are yes. camped out in their comfy chairs, being able to take in all of the sights and sounds along the parade route. Gotta Everyone's love welcome, even the animals, even the dogs. Who? Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we really Remember doing when that this? song was everywhere? It was. Why it was did it still comes back Listen, every now and then. Why did my mother... You don't remember when album CDs came with, like, singles? It was, yeah, like, yeah. the of main course. song in just, yeah. like, a 30... For Christmas, my mom gave me the Baja Men. <laughs> you wore that thing <laughs> out, <laughs> didn't you? That's when we had the radios with the five CD changes. Oh, and the, the five CD. Thing. That was it. You were advanced. Talk about cultural and, culture and traditions, okay? <laughs> Somebody needs to put those radios uh, in a museum yes. and archive them. <laughs> You had the CDs on the visor. You had your favorites up there. Yep. Okay, we're aging ourselves. Now. Yes, all right, we are. All right, all right. All right. we, we are. So who let the dogs out? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to play that later. Just to, just to do it. All right, we're celebrating Oakland Black Joy. We got more people coming through on Franklin Street. This beautiful day. I like that the sun's coming out again. It is. It was kind of hiding behind the clouds for yep. just a bit, but the sun is coming out in full force right now. And you're seeing these kids who are waving hello to us yes. as they walk by our ABC and popping the bubbles. Set that we're putting out. <laughs> they are going to be so tired on Monday. <laughs> oh, but that man. is okay. They can use the parade as a great excuse. I'm sure their teachers will understand. Yeah, they're going to yes. sleep good tonight. Uh -huh. All the kids are going to sleep good uh -huh. tonight. Hopefully they've had some good food out here, yes. good culture, dancing, smiling. It really has been just the best day. You see the Black Student Union coming through. We hey, everyone. Our future activists, our future leaders, yes. our future organizers are right here in front of us. Hi, pretty. <laughs> How are you doing? Yes. <laughs> Again, everyone is in such a friendly mood uh, yes. as you just meet new people that you've never met before, see folks that you haven't seen in quite some time. That really uh, encapsulates what Black Joy and the Black Joy Parade is, is really all about. Yeah. It's impossible to be to feel anything but happiness and excitement today. The level of magic that's in the air is just phenomenal. And I love seeing, as we mentioned earlier, all the different cultures. It's not just one black experience. There's the Afro-Latino. We bring so much to the table. We do. Um, I have a question for you guys. Another question. So we are about to party at the festival stage in just a few. Yes. What type of festival folks are y'all? Are y'all like the, you getting popping on the dance floor? Are y'all the movers? Are y'all the people who like to just see and observe? Are y'all the people who like to sing obnoxiously loud? Oh, boy. I'm going to sing it. If I know the song, I'm going to sing it. I'm and you're going to be sick of me by the end of it, for sure. And I'm going to be dancing. Yesterday was so nice. I had the windows down in my car. Woo! I was bumping. And my daughter was like, Mom, stop dancing. I'm like, I'm not going to stop dancing. I'm not. She's going to want like, you to teach her those dance down. moves for TikTok We're going soon. down. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm wrestling. Young Johnny. That's where you mom, need to guarantee stop. it's going down. <laughs> Ooh, let's dance, That's what you let's say. Look. These kids don't know nothing about that. They right. don't. They don't. Right. But the divas that we're looking at right now, they definitely know something about it because they got the moves, they got the grooves, and they got the energy out here for the Black Joy Parade. Yeah. Come on, Luther. <laughs> Watching these dancers, watching these majorettes, watching these future leaders um, at their Black Student Union is giving me so much nostalgia of growing up uh, in my formative years as at a HBCU, Howard University. Yes. <laughs> and being from Washington, D.C. Yeah. as well, yeah, I, I certainly know about it. I mean, it, it is just so incredible. And I feel like Oakland is almost like kindred spirits with 
DC in the DMV, right? Where you just Absolutely. see so many black people making Absolutely. it happen, doing Absolutely. so many great things it's out here. So, so many legends here and so many future legends here, just like DC, coast to coast. Another dance team right here. And some folks some on bikes as well. Right, and shout out to everybody on a bike right here wearing a helmet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the reflective <laughs> gear, be safe. All right, let's check in with ABC7 News reporter Zach Fuentes, who is live for us along the parade route. What's happening, Zach? Hey! Hello, I'm with Higher Ground After School Program. Let us know what you guys do. This is some great work. Oh, hi, we're After School Program. We got our kids out here celebrating back joy. It's a part of our cycling, a part of our after school dance in enrichment. This is one of our dance teachers, Ms. Jamila. And this is Berkeley Maynard. Uh -oh. All the cheerleaders are up there. So yeah, we're here representing East Oakland Pride, Bay Area Technology Academy. Go after school programs. How important is it meeting these kids after school? Oh, it's very important meeting the kids after school because like I'm shouting to this audience, we keeping these babies out the street, keeping these babies out the street. I love it. You guys are doing excellent work. You guys are showing up. You guys are representing. It's a great moment. Here's some Thank of the kids. You. Right yes. Here. Excited are they to be here? They are awesome. They are very excited to be here. This is Berkeley Maynard's first march with us, and East Oakland Pride. This is their seventh year. We march with Black Joy Parade every year. We'll see you next year. All right. Thank, thank you, you so much. Again, guys, it is such an amazing time out here. A lot of young people. That's what we're seeing so much of right now. You're seeing them pass by you right now. They're so excited. As are all the adults, the people I'm talking to on the sides of the street out here. So many return visitors. That is the part that I'm just so thrilled about. People coming back to this again and again promising to be back next year too like we know will be and Zach, they do such great work, Higher Ground. Uh, they're actually going to be our February Allies in Action story. So if you watch ABC7 News at 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. this Thursday, you'll learn more about Higher Ground and the incredible work that they're doing in the community. Uh, they have after-school programs with 300 elementary school-age children, uh, like Miss Amber Lee Blackwell just mentioned, keeping the kids out of trouble giving them something positive that was a to good do after point, school. point because we need those resources for the kids. Give oh, them absolutely. something to think about. Give them something to, you know, get them inspired. And they inspire them by uh, introducing them to art, culture, dance teams. You saw some of the other kids on the bikes as well. They do it all and they've been doing it since 2002. So shout out to Higher Ground uh, and Miss Amber Lee Blackwell. You'll learn more about her story coming up uh, this Thursday on ABC 7 News. We got Eli Baker Lodge, number 62 coming through. And I have to say in the last shot with Zach, I know Paula on our creative team. She was trying to get out of the shot, but I gotta give a shout out to everyone here at ABC7, our crew, who's been working so hard to put this together to bring it to you live here from the Black Joy Parade. Just like it takes a village to put on the Black Joy Parade, yep. it takes a village for us to be able to stream <laughs> yes, the Black Joy Parade yes, to you yes. every year. Uh, so shout out and a big thank you to all of our crew. Uh, they got here at five o'clock in the morning, dark and early, yep. to make this all happen. <laughs> More roller skates, man, that is the theme. We have got to get on some skates. Oh, it is a gorgeous day. I'm smelling food too now. I am too. Do you smell it? Something is cooking. I don't know what it is. Delicious. And I'm seeing a lot of people in their Greek wear. Is oh, that the it's gonna get good. Up? It's gonna get it good. It is. I know that's right. So this is National Panhellenic Row right here. Yep. These are all of the uh, black uh, fraternities and sororities that you will often see stepping at HBCUs. Right. God, it's so the Divine Nine, the Divine as you'll Nine. often hear them called. And the Alphas are very intellectual men. Their Alpha chapter is at the Ivy League Cornell. So when you see an Alpha, you know you are talking to a wise man. I think Martin Luther King was also an Alpha. Okay. Really? I believe it. I believe it. All right. Are they going to show us something? Fresh out the baby. Let's check in now, if we can, with ABC7 News reporter Zach Fuentes. It looks like, Zach, you got somebody there. Very excited with men of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Founded on ice cold Tuesday, December 4th, 1906, on the campus of Cornell University. 
We are very deep here in Northern California. I'm the district director, and we're going to make sure we set it out here at the Black Joy Parade. You guys are representing. One of the things I've been talking about this whole morning, this whole afternoon, is how many young people I'm seeing here, youth coming up in these great school programs, after school programs, on their way maybe to Greek life. Yes, and we, we embrace all that. We want to make sure we establish great brotherhood in this organization, and we want to encourage young people to get their education by any means necessary and apply for scholarships. Black College Expo was last week. We were there for that, had a booth there. A lot of young people, and all these young men you see are college-educated, degree-carrying young men, and they all started in local schools here in Oakland, East Bay, and Bay Area. And they know how to have a good time. Describe the vibe for people at home. Let me tell you something. There are thousands of people out here. The weather is nice, and we got a great break in the weather, and there's nothing better to see Oakland in this type of atmosphere instead of seeing a lot of negative stuff. This is a lot about positivity, great vibes, great music, food, and the family atmosphere. So if you can come on out, get on BART, get on down here and enjoy yourself. I'm going to let you catch up. Thank you so much for stopping by to chat. All right. We love it. You know, he said something very important. The weather is excellent. The energy is excellent. We can't wish for much more today. It is amazing. And like you said, the party is not going to stop with this parade. There is so much more to come all evening long. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to call out tomorrow. I'm not going to be one of the managers, but I have a feeling a lot of people are going to do that because you're just having a great time out here and this party's not stopping anytime soon. I'm going to toss it back to you before I talk myself into trouble. got the AKAs yep. right now. You hear that sound, and you know it's the AKAs. Right. And when you look at the Divine Nine, you are literally looking at history. These organizations are over 100 years old. So when you're talking about educating on just the culture and the legacy of black culture that comes in the swag, that comes in the organizations that we founded, that comes in the samba, that comes in the major red dancing, in the, the instruments that are playing, in the spoken word that will be performed by Darius on that stage, okay? In the choir that will be performed by the Black Joy Parade Choir. We are so dynamic as a people, and these rituals and things that we do every single day are a part of the genius that is black and the heritage that is black. It's beautiful. And look at the AKAs giving you some of that right now. The AKAs ascending to some of the highest levels of excellence. Of course, oh, yes. our Vice President Kamala Harris is an AKA. Mm -hmm. And the AKAs were the first uh, sorority uh, that was created um, in terms of the Divine Nine. So shout out to, what is that, 1908? They'll, they'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> 1908, yeah. you see 1908. it on their shirts right there. There you go. <laughs> They're going to let you know. Hey, hey. Prestigious organizations, y'all. Yeah. Talk about grace. Oh, we got more coming through. We do, we do. It's so nice to see. We got to have our We got the cap. The cap is right. about to start strolling. Where you see the canes. You see the canes. They're about to start canes. strolling. I talk about smooth. We got the crimson and cream. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to let you know, too. Mm -hmm. The campus always know how to have a good time. They're going to give you a performance uh, anywhere <laughs> they show up. 1911, y'all. You see Kappas both old and young. Some future Kappas as well, as you see some of the young men marching in the parade. Too. I see the little guy with the cane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they started ready. young. Yep. They started young. Right. He know what he going to be. <laughs> oh. Now, talking about the benefits of being in a fraternity, a sorority, you have networking, you have a family behind you. You know, anywhere you go in the United States that's and around true. the world, there's going to be people who are there and that's going to look out for you. Uh, name unknown, sight unseen. And that's what we heard from uh, one of the 
president of the local, local uh, Alpha chapter. He was essentially saying, these are people who went to schools all across the country, but they came here in the Bay Area and they were able to find that instant community uh, from other brothers who are Alphas as well. Yeah, that's how black people do. It is, coming together, <laughs> there for each other. Again, you are watching this live here from Franklin Street, the Oakland Black Joy Parade. It's just a beautiful day. It is, and now we want to check back in with ABC7 News reporter Zach Fuentes. Who do you have with you now, Zach? Hello. Got Delta Sigma Theta. Talk about, because I talked with a fraternity earlier, now it's time to talk to a sorority. How excited are you guys to be out here today? We are extremely excited to be here today. We're Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, founded in 1913 at Howard University. And we are here to encourage our community to get out and vote. The primary is coming up on March 5th. And our 22 founders set the stage for us in um, 1913 to participate in the suffrage march. So voting is very important to our sorority and the D9 overall. So get out the vote. Yeah, a lot of people fought for people like us to be able to have this right to vote. It's an important message to get out there. You guys are also having fun out here too, right? Yes, we are. So if you look, we have our members of our sorority strolling. So as we have fun, we also make sure that we commit to social action. That's what we do as Delta, social action. You guys are doing such a great job with that. Perfect venue for you guys to be doing this, sharing this message and sharing this joy. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, I'm going to let you guys see some more of this show behind me right here. Hey, don't let me get in the way. I'm stepping out right now. <laughs> I love watching <laughs> stroll. Look out, Zach. We got the Deltas in the house, y'all. And you can always tell us the Deltas when they throw up their triangle, right? Right, right. And also, you know it's not a black event if we don't play juvenile, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think he just tweeted uh, a few days ago and said, y'all have been throwing it back for a quarter century now. Right, we about to switch uh, that yeah. out for the, the national anthem. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you gotta play it at every event, so right. might as well, huh? <laughs> we got the cues. We here, where my dogs at? Who let the dogs out, really? <laughs> Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, they, they heard that call. Ask and you shall receive. Uh-huh. I think I hear wipe me down. Oh, right. Another another Negro spiritual anthem. <laughs> I pull up at the club. VIP. The gas tank is on E, but all drinks are on me. Drinks on you? Uh, no. That's what I heard. <laughs> that's what I heard. <laughs> If you're just joining our live coverage, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're tuning in live to the Oakland Black Joy Parade, and now you're looking at the Sigmas right here do their thing. Right, and right next to them is the Zetas. Yep. Oh, they had to play Blueberry uh, Fango. That makes sense. kids in the crowd that are like, oh, when I get older, yep. I want to do that. Exactly. Sign me up. And this oh, is how it starts. Black. This is ours. This is ours. And uh, look at this beautiful sign that I see one woman holding up right here. It says, brotherhood and sisterhood is our hustle. Right. Find yeah, joy in, our, in the hustle is some of the signs that you see some of the young kids holding right here. Look at the us. One that we says the hustle is real. Ready. Yes. I know that's right. I mean, you can't help you just look at look at them and you just think family. It's exactly they are what family. it feels like out here. Ooh, listen, I love when we can play some Luther Vandross and some Juvenile and some Blueberry Fango <laughs> at the same time. And we're oh, getting all of it out here today. We are a people are. of multitudes. Yes. <laughs> we are a people of multitudes. Oh, it's dynamic. Dynamic, that is the word. That is the word to describe 
blackness, the black culture. Absolutely. Anything that we do, we do it well. We do. Okay, and the world sees us. They mm -hmm. recognize it and they want to do it too. And like I said, we make a seat for everybody. We got the hair. Look at honey in I the know. blonde and the green and the black. She went to hair salon like, let me rub my set real quick. <laughs> yeah. And you're oh, hearing blow, blow the, the whistle. whistle. <laughs> Another Bay Area Oakland classic. Yep. Had to. Too short. What would today be without playing a little too short? Good that boy. doesn't even make sense. This is great. We're glad that we can be out here celebrating the black culture at this Black Joy Parade here in Oakland on this beautiful, gorgeous Sunday. I'm glad to have all of you with us. Yes, we are bringing you all of this live here on the ABC 7 News live stream. The sights, the sound, the excitement, and all of the beauty of the Black Joy Parade here. Right. We got everybody out here in their Sunday's best, baby. <laughs> now we gotta have the iotas. Oh, and you hear them singing, I feel it right in my chest, just like the basement cars. <laughs> All right, you've been watching our live coverage here on ABC 7 News of the 7th Annual Black Joy Parade. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with more parade coverage after this. The Black Joy Parade on ABC7News.com. Sponsored in part by Oakland Recycles. Learn how to recycle right. Did you know the average person throws away over four pounds of material a day? That's why recycling is so important. Recycling rules have changed over the years, so it's time to learn how to recycle right. Have a waste sorting plan that starts inside your home. Know what recycling material is accepted in your cart. Keep recyclables empty, clean, and dry. Put loose items in the cart. Avoid using bags. Not sorting properly keeps recycled materials from having a second life. For more information, visit oaklandrecycles.com. Bagels are finally here at McDonald's. Delicious eggs and cheese with a tender steak patty or thick cut bacon or savory sausage. They're here in all their warm toasted glory. Order ahead in the McDee app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. After having to serve 20 years in prison, you try to find the catalyst, the moment where you go wrong. You can't become a firefighter. It's a real 180. You know, you be in a minister society, now then you actually being a hero. The job is so hard, it's so rigorous. That I ask myself, what in the hell are you doing out here, dude? You know, if I'm in this, I'm in this. It ain't no way out, you know, burning boats. It's no more wasting time. I gotta stay strong for the women that's fighting out here. Push the limits, we see where they at. It's in me to be a firefighter. Local stories, real answers. ABC7, building a better Bay Area. Welcome back, 7th Annual Black Joy Parade here in Oakland. We are live on Franklin Street, feeling the joy, celebrating the hustle. And looking at these beautiful babies dancing in the street, bringing right. the energy to us all. Right behind them, we have UCSF, Vinnyoff Children's Hospital here yes. in Oakland, California. Taking care of our little ones. Doing so much good for our community. You can tell they are bringing the energy as they continue to have a good time as well. I saw yes. some steppers in the house, too. You can't have black culture nope. without the steppers. Say it loud. Say it loud. And I see PG&E coming, too. Keep the lights on. Keep the lights on and the bills low if you can. Because <laughs> I don't know if you've seen your PG&E bill lately, but whoo. Asking for a friend. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> the poor little kid in the in the classroom. <laughs> like, where do I go? Point me straight. Right. Nancy! 
All right, let's see if we can check it back in with uh, ABC 7 News reporter Zach Fuentes <laughs> one more time. What's happening, Zach? Oh my gosh, it's been such a great time here. It's starting to begin to come to a close. I've got some new friends with me now who traveled to Oakland for the Black Joy Parade. As things are starting to wrap up, hey, first of all, tell me how important it was for you to come here, to travel from where? Uh, we're from St. Louis, so me and her travel along with another friend. Um, we came last year for the event, and it rained, so we're glad it came this year, and it was nice the weather. Yeah, this is my first time here, and I'm just so happy I was here to be a part of this. It's really fun. Yeah. Because what does this mean? I mean, explain this the people to come together in a time of joy like this is what I've been asking people and everyone's saying it's just so important right now. Yes, yeah, it's very important and also not just during Black History Month but showing that black people have joy and things to be proud of year round, right? But it's always nice to come together on common ground. Joy can be very loud <laughs> Okay, as we wrap up, some of your highlights of the parade. Oh, the Divine Nine. All the kid dance groups. I love, I love seeing the, the little kids. girls dancing. <laughs> yes. I saw so many of them. Might we see you for year eight? Oh, uh, possibly. Oh, yeah. I had a great time. It's my first time in Oakland, and I love it. Love you having you guys here. Thank you so much Thank for chatting you. with us. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming to this great city. We appreciate it. Again, it was what I was saying earlier, you guys. We have people in Oakland, of course, coming to this, but people from out of town, too, and that is so important, so meaningful to this community, and just so exciting to see and share with you guys right now. I'm going to toss it back to you. If we can hear anything. <laughs> right. <now. laughs> what did you say, Julian? We have the, this motorcycle club right next to us. You can hear their thunderous roar coming down Franklin Street right now. Uh, it's pretty tough to hear anything else. Yes, but again, yes. everyone bringing the joy, bringing the excitement in their own unique way. That is what the Black Joy Parade is all about. But how about the, the women who are here all the way from St. Louis? Yeah. That is incredible. That, that is a testament to what this parade means and what yes. this day means. I also want to shout out, again, the economic empowerment that is happening. Over $100,000 in incremental revenue for the restaurants. Over $500,000 paid to performing artists. We have close to 200 vendors here. And all week and weekend, we have been having uh, satellite events from black organizations like uh, uh, Negus in Nature at Kinfolk, which you got to go to Kinfolk. It's a black-owned wine and ca wine uh, shop and cafe. You want to do your work there. But so many people are eating off today. Thank you to Alicia. Thank you to Amber. Thank you to Maya, the head of the Black Joy Parade uh, Marketing. Thank you to that. I think almost all black women team. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and doing it in a way right. that only black women can. Yes. And all of the money that's being circulated today, we are all eating, we are having fun and making money. It's the hustle. It's the it's hustle. It's the redefinition of the hustle. Yes, it is. And it's going to bring people back to Oakland over and over again. And again, uh, this motorcycle club yes. still right next to us. They've been waiting for their chance to cut up. And here it is. All right now, y'all be safe. You know where right. they're coming, you know when they're going. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. right. Exactly. Uh, we are having a great time out here live at the Black Joy Parade. Happy Black Joy to us all. Yes, and happy Black History Month to you as well. It's the season. It's hard to believe that the parade is beginning to wind down because the energy continues to get higher and higher the longer that we've been on the air here today. And I'm going to be real sad see the parade in, but real happy to put on my dancing shoes right? and go right to them stages <laughs> and shake my little tail feather. Okay? Live music. You will catch me there. <laughs> When the parade ends, the festival is just beginning. Everything continues to go down until 7 p.m. here in Oakland. And now you're looking at tip-top shape as they bring the energy. Yes, they focus on spiritual and emotional health for black people. Right. Black rain. Right. And again, we got the With the anthem. We got With the an anthem. Spiritual anthem. Okay. And we got some line dancing, baby. Come on. You know, black folks love a wobble. Right, get it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know how to do the new to me a line dance? Or is That's it too advanced. I don't know. That's, That's calculus to me. <laughs> That's calculus. Do you know how to do that one? I don't. My ankles don't go that way. You see what I'm saying? 
I said, they're going to have to make a, a half-speed version so I can try and learn it. Right, please. <laughs> and they make it look so effortless, though. Enough. You can't do a line dance without being graceful and fluid. <laughs> That's why I'm on the side for yeah, that one. Right. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> Uh, but again, thank you so much for joining us for the 7th Annual Black Joy Parade. We are continuing to have such a good time here. Such feeling the vibe, yeah, feeling the I energy know, of the wobble. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of dancing, look at these ladies look at over that. here. And they have been waiting Those patiently costumes. for all of the other more than 100 contingents to go so they can show us what they got. Okay, and let me tell you about those Corvettes. I had to stop on my way in to let all the Corvettes oh, did come you? in. I was like, ooh, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I want that iridescent one. <laughs> can you imagine that group chat? It's like, all right, we all gonna get the same car, right? What dealership you going to? That's that commission, oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Incredible. Everybody eat. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that is the Northern California Corvette Club. Oh, these cars look nice. Wow, these are gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous cars. Again, impeccable paint jobs, impeccably cleaned, too. Uh, that, that line at the car washing, uh, the car wash was long yesterday. Oh, yeah, it was. And Zach is over is Zach, there talking to somebody. Is he, he in one of the Corvettes ride. right he now? <laughs> I cannot wait that? to get in one of these Corvettes, but I'm not going to do it at the moment. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. They're, they're nice to have. They're so nice to have. I'm a little bit jealous. This one is one of my favorites, all orange. If you okay. see in this, he got the orange outfit, too. I can. Okay, so, so tell me, how important was it for you to be out here and show this baby off? Oh, it's really nice. It's, my head is bigger than the ocean right now. It's really big and good, yeah. I would get out here and do a little dance for you. I just did it back there. Yeah. Well, are you going to do it? <laughs> okay, first, I, why, why we wait for that? Who's detailing this? Do you have anything to do with that? I detailed it myself. Oh, you did? Myself. Not one spot on this, folks. Not one spot. How close are, is this club? How close are Corvette owners? Huh? How close are you all? I call, we are very close. We are we're one net group. We're positive. We do things. We do charities. Uh, we help out individuals. And, you know, we just do a lot of fun things around the Bay Area and throughout the Bay Area. It's really nice to do. It really is. If people come together and, you know, we love one another. You know, that's what it is. It's all about. So it's all good. It's all good. Either way, either way you look at it, it's all good. That's what this parade is all about. Joy coming together and some dancing. Right. Okay. I want you to do it. Do it. He's going to dance for us in his orange getup, orange Corvette. This man's going to come out, show us some moves. Let's get to it. Oh, oh, what? Let that. <laughs> and now we'll let this man close the gap. Right. You are one of my favorite interviews today. <laughs> we gave him this moment, you guys. This excellent, just a small example of the energy. Bigger than the ocean. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Woo, if you all cars. ever uh, need somebody to get in the driver's seat for you, I'm I glad volunteer. She it right. in. I'm glad she's I'm a it passenger in. seat rider myself. <laughs> oh, this is great. And what a beautiful way to begin to close out the Black yes. Joy Parade. When you see the Corvettes, that's usually a signal that uh, we are now driving from the parade to the festival. Again, all of that begins at 19th Street here in downtown Oakland, and there is a full afternoon of fun and festivities. Benders for you to go buy right, something right, from. Right. Exactly. The party doesn't stop for seven more hours. Oh, there's my iridescent. That was mine. I just want to oh, say means. the dedication to have 50 people with the same car, right? <laughs> okay? Just together. <laughs> United. The coordination, too, yeah. right? Right. Shout out to y'all. That one's my favorite. He yeah, said, I he's know. even got the gloves. The gloves. <laughs> he got the suicide force. I'll catch you over there, yeah. He over there peacocking. <laughs> he said, I already know. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, my goodness. 
It is glorious out here for this Black Joy Parade. I am so glad that we could be here. I Me am too. so glad to be a part of it again. We can't understate how beautiful the weather is. If you've been watching us throughout the last two hours, you've continued to see the crowd size grow and grow and grow. Now to a ground swell as everyone begins to walk yes. down Franklin as the parade ends to the festival. Maybe you didn't make the parade, but there's still so much to come out and do. So much. And again, if you can't make it to the headliner performance, which I highly recommend because you will see me two-stepping tonight. <laughs> Meet us at Crybaby for the official after party hosted by Toasted Life. If you don't know Toasted Life, you want to follow them at Toasted Life. They're doing incredible things, and they're going to throw a great after party today at Crybaby from 7 to 1 a.m. How I, I see them on those bikes. Did you? I don't know if we caught that with our camera, but how do they do that? That is incredible. I mean, he is weaving in and out of these <laughs> you're not muscle tall. cars oh, with ease. Oh, man. This has just been a wonderful day, seeing all the dance groups, educational groups, churches, cultural groups, car clubs. Also, one more thing. Do not forget the Golf and Grooves oh, yes. tournament happens on April 22nd. It is another Black Joy Parade event that you do not want to miss. If you do not play golf, there will be a cookout, and I know we all want to eat. Mm -hmm. uh, please come. It is a fundraiser. It's going to be fun, a good time, family reunion vibes, cookout vibes. Register for the event on blackjoyparade.org. We will see you there. And that's also a great way to be plugged into all of the incredible activities that they throw all year long. You can also follow them on Instagram at Black Joy Parade. All right, we are wrapping up. Hello, ladies. I just want to shout out Point Agency and the Black Joy Parade team. Hi, Shanties. Hi, Paige. <laughs> Oh, that's Black right, Maya Sykes yeah, right there. Fix. I know that's right. It's a family affair today, y'all. It's been a great day, and I still see some, like, monster trucks back there. I know. Rolling through. Like, where do they keep coming out of the from, way. Right? <laughs> they set it up with y'all low riders. <laughs> yes. We riding dirty. <laughs> we going straight from here to the, to the, where, where do you, where, the dirt park. But there you go. There you go. Uh, well, it has been a great day out here in Oakland on Franklin Street for the Black Joy Parade 7th Annual. Thank you so much for being here with us, streaming the Black Joy Parade. And we want to remind you that later today, you'll be able to find today's coverage of the Black Joy Parade at abc7news.com. And then next Saturday, we'll be airing a special presentation of the parade coverage on TV. You can catch that on ABC7 News at 8.30 p.m. All right, we had a blast being here celebrating culture, history, and community. We love you guys. Happy Black Joy. We'll see you back here next year. When I think about black history, I think about preserving legacy. My family opened our first McDonald's location in 1988, and now I'm a next generation owner operator continuing that legacy. Over the past three decades, we have supported our local community in many ways. Through mentorship and volunteering efforts, we have contributed to the Ronald McDonald House, the Boys and Girls Club of the Peninsula, and other charitable causes. I want to be an example to other young black entrepreneurs and inspire the next generation to give back. I'm Lauren, and I'm creating black history at McDonald's. I was injured in a car crash. I had no idea how much my case was worth. I called the Barnes firm. When a truck hit my son, I had so many questions about his case. 
I called the Barnes firm. It was the best call I could have made. Your case is often worth more than insurance offers. Call the Barnes firm to find out what your case could be worth. We will help you get the best result possible. The Barnes firm. Injury attorneys call one 800 million Grab the keys to a new fuel-efficient Toyota. Let's go! It's time to get out there with more peace of mind and legendary dependability behind the wheel of a new Toyota, the most reliable brand on the road. Right now, lease a sporty Corolla for just $249 a month or lease a stylish new Camry for just $259 a month after $1,000 bonus cash. Grab the keys, let's go! Toyota, let's go places. I came to the U.S. from Colombia. Now, San Francisco is home. I'm Luz Peña, and I love the vibrance and diversity of our city. But like you, I know it has its challenges, and I see them up close every day. That's why reporting on these issues is not enough. Searching for solutions is what drives me. At ABC7 News, we deliver local stories with real answers to help make our city better. Happy Black History Month, a time to honor and celebrate our rich culture and diverse community. 